Hello everybody and welcome to hopefully another informative video about how remote controlling works in the new Kerbal Space Program 1.2, which as far as I can see from the pre-release build is closing in very much on completion. And here we are trying to show you something about how to control a probe without a relay network with just a pilot. So basically we have a small probe within our spacecraft and we now want to control it from the capsule where the pilot waits. Thing is though, it doesn't work. We don't have any connection. Even with the antenna opened, there is not anything going on with the probe. You can see here we have connection, the antenna is working, but the probe, as you can see on the top left corner, doesn't do anything. Hmm. So this is not as I expected in the first run. Why is that? Well, if you look closely in the editor, you can see there are probe control points in certain command modules. Those are the big three-man capsule, not the one-man capsule, uh, the two-man capsule and those two bigger probe cores. All of those need pilots to operate them, so we added one of the probe cores and we're back in orbit. And we're trying it. And... Not a chance again. Hmm, why might that be? Well, we need a pilot to do that. And you can see here I'm just having fun with spinning the stuff around. Well, we need a pilot to do it, we need the correct probe core, and we need a relay. So any old antenna won't do it, you need a relay antenna and then you can control your little probe from your little spaceship. There you go, you see that? That is the icons you're looking for. Then you can control your probe from your command capsule. And while Jebediah is chilling in the orbit of Minmus, we are going to land this little thing down there. And this, of course, only works as long as the main ship is in range of the antenna of the little probe. Could have seen it in the background back there, probably. And yeah, we have landed safely. So how about, well, a more engaging enterprise? Whoops, okay, this rocket didn't work as expected. But since I overbuilt it, uh, it managed fine anyway. So we are going to Duna to experiment with rovers on the surface. So for that I have included the big capsule as you can see and I'm heading to Duna on my transfer stage made of liquid fuel and three nuclear rockets. This was quite a scary aerobrake maneuver because it got really hot, it wobbled around, but I managed anyways and it worked out fine in the end. Okay, some final adjustment burn and then we're going to get down to the surface and try out that rover on the surface. So, thing is, if you want a rover to be controlled by a Kerbal and don't have a relay network somewhere, then you of course need line of sight. So if we get down to the surface, as shown here in our landing vehicle, we can control the rover but we really have to keep close to our main ship, otherwise we lose connection and then you have a dead rover. So just, I'm just using this video to uh, have an excuse to do another mission to Duna. I just like Duna. Okay, so the rover is down there, parked in its little compartment. There you go. You can see no control over it. But as soon as we have extended the relay, and of course we have two pilots in the capsule, you need two pilots. If you just have Jebediah and Bob and Bill, it won't work. You need, for instance, Jeb and Val. Okay, and this is just me getting back, so we have kind of a real ending to the story, so you don't see uh, some poor Kerbal stranded in Duna without any rescue, as you did in the interplanetary transport system video. No, no, I have thought of everything. This thing here can get back home to Kerbin safely, 
but we leave the rest of the ascent stage in orbit around Duna. Kessler syndrome on a foreign planet. Yay. Okay, this was also quite the scary re-entry because we didn't do any real error break, we just punched through the atmosphere, Kerbal style, and so we disposed of the rocket. So yeah, hitting two birds with one stone, as you could say. Fortunately this time it worked, I have a few footages of this attempt failing miserably. But in the end it worked out fine and yeah, so this is just a short video about how you control rovers or other probes by using pilots in capsules. So I hope you enjoyed this, thanks for watching, goodbye.